Mai says, oh, we have Microsoft 365 apps for business and use Outlook with domain hello.com. All our emails are at hello.com. We have purchased a domain buy.com for a customer project. Now our team asks, could we have a domain of info at buy.com as a shared inbox for this project? They would like to add the shared mailbox to their current Outlook account to make it easily accessible. The team consists of members from three different organizations within Europe. I'm totally clueless. Boy, it just got muddy there. I'm totally mm -hmm. clueless here. Is this doable? If yes, how? If not, why? Just the main pointers are enough for me at this point. Any pointers would be great. Well, I have a couple of questions, first of all. How on earth did you acquire those two domains? <laughs> That's well, that I'm they're hoping examples. they're examples. Yeah, I'm hoping they're just examples. Oh, okay. I Hello sometimes and, relieve things and, and too. goodbye, but yeah. 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 But too they would have gotten they would have hit the jackpot there, just saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. So okay. I'm slow. <laughs> we already know that though. <clears throat> We've missed you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so how would they do that? Well. So they technically can purchase any domain they want and add it into the system and, you know, put in the proper um, configuration for that. After yeah. that point, essentially, they can use those domains, just adding them to various aliases underneath those shared mailboxes or another mailbox. And that's just the um, the address that they publicize for info, you know, for getting information is the info. It's, at another, it's another owned asset as part of the company. Yeah. So, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's it, essentially it's just a mixture of buying the domains, configuring it inside your tenant and then utilizing them as aliases within the shared mailbox or accounts, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Pretty much. I yeah, agree. obviously the the issue of organizations within Europe, depending on where they are, um, so not knowing where they are and if there are other rules that are in place for what can and cannot be done, um, if you are, um, yeah, cause if you're centralized management of your domain and mailboxes, um, across those different countries, and it can be fairly straightforward if there are separate domains, if there is like hello.germany.com, for example, uh, and there's different policies around that, then what then? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, as long as one of those European countries is not Germany. <laughs> yeah. It's going to depend go from on having the a mechanical instance to a governance, in governance instance. Yeah. Pretty um, much instantly. Yeah. I mean, like I have a client that had 52 domains after oh, the merge boy. of three companies that they purchased. And two of them, one was in the UK, the other one was just another place in Europe. And so those domains were integrated into the American tenant that they all merged to. But because it's an American owned company, certain things they had to follow them because that's where the tenant resided. However, the one in Germany, even though it could reside there, we there had to be sp very specific policies and things they could and could not do within rules, policies, et cetera. Yeah, Germany is somewhat unique in terms of data sovereignty. Yeah. Um, they're not the only country that requires data sovereignty, but you know, they are probably the best example. Yeah, that the, the most effort has to go into any of their configurations from my, from my experience. So hope yes, that uh, helped. I, yeah, I, I, again, that this is one, I'll just say that like, feeling like we've not entirely answered the second half of that. Like we can't, unless we know, the specific locations, if there are yeah. specific policies put in place around that, you know, yeah. how you would go and approach that. So this is a clear case of one of those where we, you know, sorry, my, uh, but we have to have follow up questions, conversation to be able to know then how to answer the rest of that. Yeah. Yeah. Bring another we question would be, back. Bring we would one. be solutioning if we yeah. tried to solve it here. So, yeah. but yeah, totally get it. Data sovereignty, GDPR, all that stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, you got to comply. For sure.